Greetings friends, we have ourselves a new flashy dunk package that's available for your my player in NBA 2K23 and that would be the Latrell Sprewell package which is an exclusive to Boom! Season 3 of NBA 2K23. And so I just wanted to go and show you what a couple of the dunks were looking like. It's been really nice that they've been adding some new animations each season, whether it's, you know, dunk packages or jump shot animations, ball handling animations, etc. And so this is the only dunk package that's available in the season. And it's also not one of, it's not also not the deepest dunk package, but it is a really solid dunk package though because the dunks are ferocious and are very authoritative, as you saw right there. So very strong, taking taking the taking the ball to the rack with authority. And so there's a definitely a strong, good, solid dunk package to go with. And hey, maybe you're maybe you're a long time Warriors fan or T-Wolves fan or Knicks fan, you know, basically every team that uh, Latrell's been on and maybe you were a fan of Latrell, so you might say, hey, I want to have this package, um, you know, for my my player, you know, and uh, and dunk like Latrell, and so, yeah, and so, then that, but these, these is, this is basically the uh, dunk animations that he has, and so, yeah, there's, like I said, not a lot of options necessarily, but, like I said, the dunks do look good, they look ferocious, like I said, and things like that, um, certain players will, or certain dunk animations packages i mean will have more dunk animations than others so like zach levine's got the most animations i think you know i think the, the most or second most or something like that as he should i mean he's one of the best dunkers of all time so i guess that makes sense but then there's some guys who do have don't, don't have a lot but they have some good ones in there and so yeah but this is it this is how you go and or this is what uh, Latrell Sprewell's dunk package looks like and uh, if you're brand new to the game if maybe you're just totally brand new and you know I'm still trying to learn some things about my career and the my player stuff and everything um, I'm gonna go and show you too how to get this dunk package and other dunk packages as well all right so if you wanted to go and choose a new dunk style for your my player in NBA 2k23 whether it's Latrell Sprewell's or others what you need to do is go to dunk style and then hit the square button if you're on PlayStation and this will take you to the animation store which will then allow you to go and purchase a new dunk package so we have all these different dunk packages here from all these uh, amazing NBA players and so the trails is all the way down towards the bottom here and it will say season 3 release and so anytime there is a new you know animation package or whatnot in a season it will you will see that little banner on the side there saying season three release season two season four five release whatever and so this is where you could go and get this package and all the other packages as well and so it's all based to on uh, your dunk rating and height and all that all those things are taken into account so certain certain players with certain heights are going to have certain dunk packages available to them um as well as you know your animate your uh rating as well so if you're driving dunk rating and all that stuff is certain is it has a certain max to it then you're only going to have certain packages available if it's like 99 then you're going to have access to basically all of them so um but it also depends on like set on your height as well so and so that is how it works so like obviously my guy's so my guy's 6'8 so he can't get like Shaq for example <laughs> you know he can't get Shaq's dunk package or or Dwight Howard's dunk package or something like that so it's, it's got to be players that are more in his high range or so and uh, that is that's it and so that's how you go and get yourself a new dunk package if you in case you didn't know if you accept your brand if you're really brand new to the to the my career experience then uh, yeah, I just thought I'd throw that out there and let you know, okay, this is where you need to go to get yourself some new dunk packages. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for me. Had to go and change the fit up right quick. Hashtag brown shirt gang. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you found this video enjoyable at all, then definitely make sure to go and leave a like and subscribe. I would very, very much appreciate that. We'll be doing more NBA 2K content going forward. And you can also go and follow me on Twitter at Ghost Panda Storm, where I'm not only talking about NBA 2K, but whoa, 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 hello, what, what happened to the city, bro? Where's the city? Oh my goodness. But uh, you can go follow me on Twitter at Ghost Panda Storm. I'm not only talking about NBA 2K, but I'm talking about gaming in general. So if you are a gamer in general, then definitely make sure to go and follow me on Twitter. Feel free to stop by and say hello over there. Um, you can also go and follow me on Hive as well. Uh, Hive Social, that is. So you can go follow me on Hive there. That's also at Ghost Panda Storm. Um, same thing there. I'm talking about 2K, but I'm talking about games in general. So, you know, I'm talking a lot about 
yeah, just gaming in general by throwing a lot of 2K in there as well. So it's a nice mixture. So if you're a big fan of 2K, but you also love games in general, then definitely make sure to go and follow me on Hive as well. If you are new to Hive, or if you're not familiar with Hive and how it works, it's basically like a mixture of Twitter and Instagram, but at least that's how I view it, because there's certain elements of it that remind you of Twitter, and then there's certain elements that remind you of Instagram as well, because there's a lot more... Uh, a lot more media is more prominent there like on Instagram like you know like pictures and video stuff is a lot more prominent than they are on Twitter so it's because so that's where the interface kind of reminds you a little bit of Instagram but then the ability to go and you know put out small a small a short post quick posts and things like that is kind of reminds you a little bit of Twitter as well so it's a little bit of a mixture of those two as well and you can also go and put music on your profile too which is cool so it's kind of like the old myspace taste where you can go and put music on your profile so when people visit your profile then uh then music will play if you have a song set up on your profile so but yeah but that's how hive works so definitely make sure to go and follow me there as well as me um it's been fun being on there and things like that so i'm curious to see how it evolves over time so or if it if it does or if it not if it doesn't we'll, we'll see um how long it lasts but uh but i hope it sticks around so i hope it sticks around i think it's a pretty good platform it has a ton of potential i think so definitely feel free to go and follow me over there on hive at ghost panda storm as well but anyway thank you very much for watching i really really appreciate it and I will go and talk to you in the next video. Peace. Adios. Sayonara. Ghost Panda. Oh, gotta get that dunking. Out of here.